Jimmy has a new boyfriend He's inside right now What? What'd you guys do in the car? Nothing! <laughs> so weird! You guys are so weird dude You're so weird Why are you so weird? Putting the meat around on your chopstick Um, I did it <laughs> Good morning my loves Welcome back to today's vlog We're in the bathroom I have a thing I'm doing an experiment It's really a theory if anything I have been asking my fiance probably once a week for the past eight and a half years that we've been dating Hey babe would you like me more if I got a blue job? And he would always look at me with the shocked face as if I didn't just ask him that last fucking Tuesday. And he would say, oh my god, honey, absolutely not. I love your itty bitty titties just the way you are. I love that at nighttime I grab onto nothing. It's like hitting a brick wall. For some reason, I'm into it, babes. Don't you worry. You're perfect the way you are. And do I believe him? Yeah, <laughs> that's a personal problem. I do, but I'm putting a theory to the test. Maybe he would love me more with big boobs. So that's what I'm trying. I saw this one TikTok and they were filling these balloons with water, but they're not water balloons. They're big balloons. They're big, juicy, bouncy, floppy, hit you in the face balloons with water, tying them around their neck, putting it under their little shirts and just jogging with them like this. And everybody around them was getting video recorded in slow-mo and there were guys just drooling. Guys that were drinking water that suddenly had water streaming down their chins. A slow mos of just And I wanna experience that. So let's fill them up. <laughs> I mean, we're going double D, right? Oh, they're so heavy! <laughs> but look at how fancy it is. I'm getting turned on, that's weird. Wow, so much more respect for plastic surgeons. The yellow one was far too big. This is a more appropriate size, I think. But it does jiggle, jiggle, you know? My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It falls. <laughs> it's just really heavy. <laughs> okay, I like that they have a mind of their own. Each one's just got a different velocity. I'm in the closet right now, and I just put on a new shirt because the white one, you could see the colors of the balloons. I don't know why they move like that. I'm just gonna walk down there like this. I'm actually gonna stomp down there. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I kind of feel sexy. It's just like you're defying gravity. Okay, you guys can open your eyes. I'm here today to talk about case defy. Because whether you guys are dropping your phone. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh my god. I don't even wanna. emails and text messages everybody has been asking me begging me really to make this happen and so what I did is I went and I texted my contact at case to I was like hi this is Stephanie Sue can you make this happen and they were like who is this but it happened no I'm kidding I had no say in this but I'm really happy and excited to announce case to new Android releases if you guys have the Samsung s22 or the Samsung s22 Plus, or maybe the Samsung S22 Ultra, the extra large, the Samsung Z Flip, the Samsung Z Flip 3, the Pixel 6, the Pixel 6 Pro. It's here. New cases for your brand new baby. Let me tell you, Casetify is amazing. I don't even remember what my life was like without Casetify. The fact that I can go anywhere and just drop my phone without a care in the world. I could be at the airport traveling. I could be going through TSA. I could be out in the Target parking lot. And if I drop my phone, I'm not even that worried because it is the world's slimmest yet protective phone case ever. Casetify has impact and ultra impact cases cases for the new Android releases and they are amazing. The impact and crunch cases are drop tested proof from 6.6 feet in the air and the ultra impact cases are drop tested proof from 9.8 feet in the air which is insane. The ultra impact cases are constructed with two layers of amazing Chi Tech material which is dual layered and it keeps your phone safe. It's actually military grade and it's case device trademarked impact.
impact absorbing material. I freaking love it. Like I can't imagine my phone without a Caseify phone case. Caseify even has Defensify, which is like this antimicrobial coating, which means it eliminates 99% of bacteria that lands on your phone case. And seriously, there's endless designs to choose from. I mean, so many different cool colorways. You can get a monogram, you can get your initials, you can get your name, you can do a mirrored back, you could do a photo collage. They do huge collaborations with big name K-pop groups, but also the small designers. The cases also support wireless charging and 5G. The impact and ultra impact cases are made out of 65% recycled or plant-based material, which is amazing. And everything gets shipped straight to your door in 100% recyclable packaging. And make sure to go to casetify.com slash mango to get 15% off your new Android phone case. And okay, calm down iPhone users. Don't get your panties in a bunch. You can also get 15% off when you go to casetify.com slash mango for 15% off your new Android phone case and your iPhone cases. And thank you, Case to Five, for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> and let's get into the juiciness. I just want to put a quick disclaimer. Um, we are not making fun of big boobs. We're making fun of come on, these don't look good. Like, you can't tell me these look good. I want to recreate the TikTok. Ready? Oh, I should be the one. Something feels heavy. <laughs> Ew, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. My nipple's cold. <laughs> oh my god. I did order breakfast and it just wasn't hitting the spot. So I'm making the chili eggs, but I'm making Korean fried rice. Korean egg rice, but chili oil eggs. I've never done this before. I think this is peak oh. innovation. Get Quick and easy. That was so easy. Yeah. And then you can add some What's that? Sesame oil? soy sauce uh, and then seaweed. sesame oil. I don't have the white sesame seeds. I mean, yes, I do, but I got these. These are new, and I want to try it. Dang. Oh. Oh my it's gosh. Bending. Oh my gosh. It's bending. That is not okay. Oh. Oh. So then we just put in like maybe oh, this much. Oh. I'm gonna try it and see if we need any more. Mmm. Little lie, huh? Oh, so it needs to be a little bit more saltier. Mm-hmm. Now we try it one last time. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. How is that so good? The chili oil adds that slight kick, but it still tastes just like regular kiranba. I know, Tiffany, you're missing out. Mm. Like, I know you hate eggs, but I'm telling you, this bad boy right here, honey, you wanna try a bite? What do you think? Mmm, delicious. I saw this TikTok and I'm so intrigued. Who is the most proper out of all of us? Because I'm really shocked by this boob reaction. You guys were both so shocked by big boobs. Never, s yeah. Never see seen it. big boobs? I mean, that Never was way too, I mean. Those were way too big, he said. The <laughs> boobs were way too big. I saw this TikTok okay. of the craziest Netflix scene ever. Here, let me just play the audio. It's like this is the most case. messed up sex scene I've ever seen in my life. It's a heterosexual, consensual sex scene in this show, and I was so uncomfortable with it that I couldn't watch it. It's a Netflix show called Brand New Cherry Flavor. On the fourth episode, 35 minutes in is where it starts. Yeah, no, it's yeah. the most I uncomfortable heterosexual sex scene he's ever seen. I want to watch too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you guys consent to watching this? Mm -hmm. Why? It's sexy. It's sexy, <laughs> she said. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh. Um. It's really dark. This is the most brightest. Oh my gosh. Oh okay. My gosh. Oh wow, what's on her Okay. <gasps> It's kind, of, wait, wait, it's kind of weird. Wait, what is we're that? watching what it together. Oh no. Oh, what is that? Is that I think it's a wound. Oh. I think it's a, like a hole in her stomach. Oh! Ah! Wait, what? Oh my oh god! My oh my god! god! Ew, what is this? <laughs> She's so disturbed. I'm sorry. Oh no, I think he's gonna do it. Oh! oh 
I need to read the comments on this TikTok because yeah. that was so disturbing. Please don't go watch this. My thing is, why was his whole arm all up in it? They took rearrange my guts a bit too seriously. Oh my he put goodness. His arm in there. Someone oh my said y'all are reaching. It wasn't even that bad. The director and the producer and anyone who was involved in the making of this series should be arrested. Even the cameras need to do some jail time. Yeah, who comes up with a scene but, like but this? But what's the genre of this though? Like scary? Just depraved. <laughs> genre, TV drama, TV horror. This show is offbeat, ominous, and mind-bending. <laughs> you mean stomach sure. wrenching? <laughs> stomach churning? Are you a little bit nauseous? Who's watching bit. this? Is this a good show? What's that book? Like Goosebumps or something? Yeah! It's giving me that vibe. It's giving me Jennifer's body. It's giving me internal medicine, doctor, emergency room, trauma, Grey's yes. Anatomy. Dang. Three days later. <sighs> what the? Pop. Cheers. <sighs> How do you feel about this, you know? <clears throat> Oi. How do you feel, babe? We gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany slipped and fell. Yeah. She was moving a chair. Mango literally ran in front of her legs. She fell on all fours, on the chair, on the ground. And now she has asparagus spears and an ice pack on her knees. I'm gonna cook the hot pot. Well, I'm not gonna cook it, but I'm gonna prep the stuff. She's gonna give me the directions. Don't move. Just recover. Or maybe we can have pot make it. Oh. <laughs> ah! 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 Tiffany has some news for us all, which is the fact that I know Everyone's gonna be really upset. Everyone in the comments is probably gonna they're gonna be really mad They're gonna try to cancel you because Tiffany is no longer <laughs> Because Tiffany is no longer single Who is the lucky guy? Whoa! Whoa. Who is the lucky guy? We want to know too. We want to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I made the first move. Oh, is it you? Wow. <laughs> I take that. Yep. I take that. <laughs> She's so uncomfortable uh, in front of you, honey. This is so bad. So basically, we went to like the art museum, and then when we came out in the parking lot, in the in the car. In the car. <laughs> yeah. What did you guys do in the car? <laughs> Just perfect timing, you know? So you guys had a good time at the museum? Huh. So that's interesting because I actually have been thinking about going to the High Museum and nobody invited me. <laughs> me okay, too, I want to go too. You guys know I've been trying to go, no? I've been talking about it all yeah. the time. Okay, Paul, I have, a, I have a serious question though. <laughs> Would you kiss Tiffany for $100 or kiss the hottest girl you know for $100,000? Ah. Can we take the thousand dollar plus that one hundred? Because uh -huh. Tiffany. Oh is my gosh, stop, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. I go over there and we'll take that money right now. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> She's so weird, dude. You're so weird. Why are you so weird? <laughs> How do you know this? Yeah. Like, you gotta know this from somewhere. Come on. I, I, I said I would kiss Stephanie for yeah. $400. I cried. <laughs> I was really upset. Let's say Tiffany breaks up with you. Would you get back together with your ex? Woo! <laughs> Tiffany breaks up with me and she is my ex. So I will get back to her. Listen, you're too good. What, what's your smile at Tiffany? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So real question now, what's y'all's first impression of each other? Wait, can I repeat the question? Uh, can I repeat the question? <laughs> he uh, said, can I get an attorney? So the first time I saw her, she was in this fluffy red uh, jacket or something. Fluffy red I, I was thinking of dress. And <laughs> no, I was thinking much of red. Honey! I was gonna say like, <laughs> sexy. Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh, no! It's not sexy! Jeez, the oh, mom's man. watching us. Oh. This is your little sister. How do you feel about this guy stepping into your house and calling your little sister sexy, huh? No. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> oh. Nothing about her personality? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, she's cute. I, <laughs> you can't deny that. Nobody can. And, uh, <laughs> uh, 
So I never do this. Tiffany just told me this. I have no idea. I've been just sticking them into hot pot broth the way that it is. But you're supposed to soak them in cold water. What? So it gets soft. So it's like, it's more taste. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. They look oh, like okay. dragon spirit candy. Have you ever made dragon spirit candy? Are you here? Are you bringing all the kids? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean? They're gonna leave a kid? Wait, this is this is insane. My sister said on the way here, our neighbors are having a party, and there there's a sign that says ballet here, and they've got three fucking ballet guys valeting. This is a house party. Yeah, we gotta step yeah. it up. Valet here. One in the driveway, and then one like in the middle of the road right here, like waving to every yeah. car. Are you serious? You guys didn't want to. You guys didn't want to. <laughs> <You didn't wanna laughs> we should have rolled like, Is it free? <laughs> so. Tiffany has a new boyfriend inside right now. Okay, it's Paul. <laughs> what? Wow. That escalated fast. Congratulations. Congratulations. They, we just told them. Wait, where's Wait. Sophie? Where's Sophie? <laughs> ah, hi, Sophie. Long time no see. It's been like five days. Well, you don't like me anymore? Hello. Oh, you don't look cute. It's okay. Look at her breaking her neck trying to go to grandma. Look at her breaking her neck. Can I hold her too? I'll never let you go. Yeah, you like me, Sophie. You like me. You like me. Why is she so adorable? I just want to... Sophie. Sophie. No. Sorry. I thought you were gonna eat it. I'm sorry. I just thought you were gonna eat it. My bad. My bad. Alright, continue. Do what you gotta do. Oh, 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 eat. Are you drunk? Listen, Paul, you have been just doing everything. What's going on? Are you trying to impress someone? To impress someone's okay. brother? Perhaps? How does he feel as the brother? Do you, I'm are hungry. you impressed? I'm hungry. <laughs> You're not impressed. So what are we making? Fried Golden bun. Fried buns? Is this I your guess? recipe? This recipe online. <laughs> okay, we're all like hovering. I think we're all really hungry. Honey, how do you feel as the golden bun holder? Yeah. Okay. This guy has been really quiet today. <laughs> that what that reminds me? It reminds me of the buns from like Jintai Fun. Yes! Right? Yes! Yeah. <gasps> I'm getting emotional about buns. Five to six minutes. Are you okay? Please go sit down. She keeps looking for Sophie. Where's Sophie? Sophie. Just, oh, okay, sorry, Mia. <laughs> Where's Mia? Five minutes later. Okay, let's see this. Whoa. It seems crispy. Yeah. yeah. Is it good? It's good. It's perfect. All right. So here's where I fucked up. I was doing a very aesthetic B-roll of pretty much boiling water prior to this. And I was proud of myself, truly. I thought it was cinema quality content. And then I forgot to switch it back. So here we are. I'm just going to tell you what happened. This was my sister and Andrew's first time trying Chinese hot pot, like the real kind. So Andrew, he starts off by pointing at things all over the plate, just pointing his digits everywhere. He's the Gordon Ramsay of our house. And as you can see, He's perplexed. He's confused to how he got here in the first place. But no worries. Nothing a bit of sniffing can't solve. He gives it a good whiff. The journey was actually quite long, but he did realize it was indeed tofu skin. It was a mind-blowing moment for our family. Both of them then decided it was time to tackle the balls. There were a lot on the plate. After poking around the couple, both parties, they settle on bread. They thought that shit was bread. Okay, fine. So did I. I thought that shit was bread too, but it's not bread. My fiance proved it by poking his finger into it. And we were both really impressed for very different reasons. Andrew for the balls, me for the fingers. Cause like, what do those fingers do? Now they're actually um fried gluten balls and they truly have the texture of a deflated ball sack after cooking. 
So yeah, we're all really into it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I saw this trick on TikTok where you fling the meat around on your chopsticks. Um, I did it. Lesson number one, make sure nobody is sitting next to you. Lesson number two, babies don't like it when you do that. I don't know what it is about it, but they don't like it one bit. Lesson number three, Sophie's getting really smart. She's learned how to use a remote. I mean, at this point, I think I could trust her with resetting the password to our modem. I mean, just look at her. She's so smart. We'll never figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> but she will. We will never figure that shit out. The new password. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the fried sweet buns. You need to try it. And I think like a Back of these are like what four dollars super filling so super good. delicious i mean look at andrew's face what's the recipe bitch <laughs> <laughs> you air fry it for like five minutes with some oil and then you dig it in dig it in, you would stick it in some condensed milk oh, so good yeah I genuinely can't believe I fucking recorded this on B-roll. We look so dumb. <laughs> so then here's the moment my fiance passes a Chinese meatball to Andrew. He's really proud of his meatballs. Um, there's this gooey filling on the inside, which... The best. Oh, <laughs> whoa. It's truly the best. Which Andrew, some of them has like meat. Some of them has like fish rolls. Oh, oh God. So and they're good. always so hot and steamy. And it's, you know, when you bite into it, you never know when it's going to just splurt out at you. <laughs> Sorry. I highly recommend trying out the balls, the Chinese balls. Yeah. <laughs> also, we had a mid break to shit talk Sophie because we kind of have beef with her. So here's what happened. Andrew was telling us that Sophie is obsessed with the dog bowls. She walks over to the dog water bowl filled with water. And when nobody is looking, she steps her foot in it and just starts fucking stomping, splashing the water everywhere, which is incredibly annoying because she wears a onesie. So you have to clean the water from everywhere, change her clothes, give the dogs new water. But now she does this thing where she's going to make eye contact with you before she does it. Andrew will say, Sophie, Sophie. And while maintaining eye contact, she'll start stomping harder into the water. So she splashes the water everywhere before you even get a chance to stop her. Because she knows that you're about to catch her. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what parenting has been like for them. We also all have explosive diarrhea after this. It was so spicy. Goodbye. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment and go to casetofy.com slash mango to get 15% off your new Android phone case, but also your iPhone phone case. Because look at this. Are you guys ready?